What up, what up, Winboys here. Today I wanna to show you three new features that are coming to After Effects. And the nice thing about it, you can actually use these effects today if you go to your Creative Cloud and download the After Effects beta. And if we look at this example that I built inside of After Effects for this tutorial, you can see that I quickly built this out using those three new features. So those three new features are Quick Set Anchor, quick offset and duplicate. So I feel like the best way to explain what these features are is to build everything out from scratch. So we're gonna build this example that I'm showing you right here with the Marvel emojis off from scratch. So now with a new composition opened up, I'm just gonna come over here and I'm just gonna drag and drop War Machine down here into my timeline so that we have them directly in the center, right? So the first new feature that we're gonna showcase is how we can move this anchor point quickly. Now, if I come over here on my right-hand side under my details panel, you'll see that we have this little bullseye here. If I left click on this, this is gonna bring up a quick anchor point. So if I click down the lower left-hand corner, so now we have our anchor point in the lower left-hand corner. Now I'm gonna hit Control Z, I'm gonna take this back in the center because there's a shortcut that we can get to this a lot faster. So if we hold down the Shift and hit Tab, that's gonna bring up that menu. So I'm gonna hold down Shift, hit Tab, now you can see wherever I have my arrow, that's gonna bring up this quick anchor point. So let's say we wanna have it down here at the bottom. So now we have our anchor point directly at the bottom. So that's gonna be the first new feature that's gonna be extremely helpful for anybody out there that wants to animate manually in After Effects. Now I'm gonna duplicate this several times so we can get to the next new feature, which is called Quick Offset. I'm gonna select my layer and I'm gonna hit the shortcut key U. That's gonna bring up all of our keyframes. So I'm just gonna scroll over till we have our first position one here. I'm gonna select all of these and then I'm just gonna left click and I'm gonna drag over, but then I'm gonna hold down the shift key so I stay along the same plane. So I'm just gonna bring this all the way over to the left hand side here. And now that I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna make sure I have it selected. I'm gonna hit Control D on my keyboard, hit U again on my keyboard, just make sure I have my position keyframe selected. I'm gonna left click and drag. And once you're dragging, if you hold down the shift key, you see that's gonna automatically lock it down. So I'm gonna do this several more times until I have about five or six. And this isn't part of the new features, but I want to give you a quick tip if you want to evenly distribute these out. Now, if I come over on my right hand side, we should see a line and we should see distribute layers. Now, over here on the right, it's going to say distribute horizontally. I want to left click on this and you'll see now everything's distribute horizontally. I'm going back to the beginning. I'm going to hit you on my keyboard to collapse everything. Now I'm going to select all these layers once again, and that's going to bring us to our next feature, which is quick offset in which the shortcut for that is control alt. So if I hold down control and hit the alt key on my keyboard, while these are still pressed down, down here inside of my timeline, you can see now my icon switched over. So while I have these keys held down. If I just left click and drag, now you can see that we're actually offsetting all the layers. But now if I hit zero on my keyboard, the ramp preview this, you can see that the animations are popping on, which that might not be something that you want. Maybe if you're doing like popcorn animation or something, that's something you want. But let's say we want all of these to still be up and just bounce. So I'm gonna hit Control Z, and then I'm gonna hit U on my keyboard, and that's gonna bring up all my keyframes here again, right? So I'm just gonna left click down here instead of my timeline, select all my keyframes, and we can actually offset the keyframes as well. So if I hold down Control Alt once again, that's gonna bring up this icon, and now I wanna be over top of one of my keyframes. It doesn't matter which one it is. So I'm just gonna left click and drag. Now you can see that it offsetted all those keyframes. So now if I hit zero, now you can see that we have our animation and it's all just moving one at a time. So previously you would have to manually drag these all out. I've done it plenty of times for client work. So this is a much welcome feature to what we're doing here in After Effects. And then just for fun, if we don't want each one of these to be War Machine, if you just select down here inside the layer, let's come up here inside of my project panel. I'm gonna hold down the O key, left click, drag over my selected layer, and that's gonna automatically swap those out. So that's how I was able to actually get these animations going. And then I'm just gonna swap out my characters because they all are the same size. Just hold down the O key, left click and drag. There we go. Now if I hit zero, you can see now we have all different characters from the Marvel Universe all bouncing in unison. Now for the last feature, it's gonna be called Duplicate, which is kind of working like Unreal Engine, right? So if you hold down the Alt key, select your layer inside your viewport, and then just drag, it's gonna automatically duplicate it. And that's how I was able to come up with this effect here. So you see we have like this fun background and it has like all these air screens popping up. And I was able to do this with a combination of everything I just showed you, plus the duplicate layer. So let me actually come in here and I'm just gonna delete all of these. And now let's just build this out from scratch. So I have this air window right here in the middle, which I could drag around. 
So if I hold down the Alt key on my keyboard, I'm going to left click and drag it in my viewport. And now you can see that it automatically duplicated it. So that's the new feature, but let's add it to what we just learned in our last example. So I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to hit P on my keyboard. That's going to bring up position. I'm going to lay one keyframe here. I'm going to hold down the Shift key, hit S, and that's going to bring up scale. So what I'm going to do is actually zero this out. So we're in zero. I'm just going to bring this up to maybe about five frames. I'm going to put it at like 110. And then we're going to come back down a couple of more frames in my timeline and bring it to 100. So if I hit zero on my keyboard, you're just going to get like this simple bounce effect, right? So I'm on frame eight inside of my timeline. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key. And while I'm inside of my viewport, I'm just going to left click and drag it. Then if I hit you on my keyboard, you can see that it added position keyframe for this particular item. So I'm just going to do this a few more times just for example's sake. So I'm just going to go back to my original layer. Hold down the Alt key, just drag these out all over the place. Do this a couple more times. Okay, so something like that perhaps. So if I select all these, hit the P key on my keyboard, you're gonna see now we all have position keyframes and they're gonna be landing in different spots, but they're gonna start off from this one right here. So let's go back to the beginning. I'm gonna hit zero. And now you can see that everything pops out all inside of unison. So I bet you can see where I'm going with this, right? So but let's make this actually happen a lot faster. So let me hit you on my keyboard a couple of times. That's going to bring up all my keyframes down here. So I'm just going to left click, drag, select all my keyframes. Now, if I hold down the Alt key, I should be able to bring these all down to unison. So now we can have our animations all happen inside of five frames. So now I'm going to hit you again on my keyboard. And now let's select all my frames that I want to offset. I'm just going to hold down the Control Alt. I'm going to drag these over. There we go. So now you have that animation there. So that's using all three of the new effects that we have there in After Effects. Let's say we wanted to get a little bit more crazy with it. So I could just come in here. I'm going to hold down the Control key and I'm just randomly selecting these layers in here like so. And I'm going to hold down Control Alt once again and now I'm going to move them. And you can see now they're moving in a different offset. So this is how you could just kind of randomize everything in here. So you don't want to select them all in unison. You just want to randomize it. And you can see where this gets kind of powerful when you have like hundreds of layers, right? So let's say I wanted to do it like that. There we go. So now we have the quick offset. We use the duplicate. And then we didn't use the anchor on this one, but you can easily use that one as well. But those are going to be the three new features that they added inside of After Effects that you have access to today. So I want to give a big shout out to the Adobe After Effects team for showing me this ahead of time. I did get backed up in my schedule. I wanted to show everybody this last week, but I'm glad to bring it to all you today. So let me know down in the comments if you're happy with these new features. And if you play around with them, definitely let the community know how they can improve them for when they put it out in the final release. But until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I see you soon. Take care.